Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So as we all know, yesterday's result against St Johnston was far from acceptable this season. With the game sadly ending 2-1 to the home side and what was a terrible day for us, dropping more points and what should be a pretty straightforward game. During these type of fixtures, no matter what season it is or who is the manager in Glasgow. So Rangers created plenty of chances against St Johnston on Sunday afternoon. But I think it's definitely clear to see that Giovanni Van Bronckhorst left his defence vulnerable on the day. After putting on another poor first half performance against St Johnston with James Brown scoring for the host just minutes before half time. However, Rangers weren't short of chances but they failed to find the back of the net. And James Tavernier's positioning in particular left the side vulnerable to the counter attack as we definitely went on to see. With StatsPerform.com going on to show the average player position during the game. And as you can see on the screen just now, James Tavernier on the right definitely stands out. With the Rangers captain practically playing alongside Fashion Sakala on the right wing. Which then went on to leave Leon King vulnerable when St Johnston broke down the wing. And manager Giovanni Van Bronckhorst has to take the blame for this one as he's tactics seem to be all over the place this season. It's also been said that after a few weeks of poor results and performances, Van Bronckhorst likely wanted his side to approach the St Johnston game with aggression. However, as we've seen on the day, that actually backfired and while the team enjoyed a handful of shots, they weren't able to find a vital breakthrough. And with Rangers low on confidence and suffering so many injuries in defence, Van Bronckhorst should know that Leon King and Ben Davies would need protecting by their fullbacks, Especially from the captain of the club, James Tavernier, who should know and do better for us this season. So what do you guys think? Then. I personally have no idea what James Tavernier is doing anymore if I'm honest. And yesterday was a very good example of this really. I'm not overly sure what's happening right now but clearly we need a change and we need it very soon. As we can't keep playing like this and expect to finish second, never mind win the league in the future. I do think James Tavernier is definitely letting us down as a captain and he should know better and want to do better for us. But he clearly has his priorities messed up and seems to believe that he is above defending at times during games. And the last time I checked he was definitely a right back and not a right winger as we've seen him play during the game on Sunday. Sunday. This has obviously been quite a joke as of recent and I'm not actually sure how we go on to fix it. But we definitely need an overhaul during the summer and once Connor Goldson is back in action and fully fit, I would actually go on to make him the captain for us going forward as I do reckon that would leave us in a better situation. Like I've already went on to say though, it was a very poor result for us yesterday and I'm not too sure where we go now from here this season, never mind next season. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.